the menu ribbon, if we have a look at our reference guide, is contained in the top part of the Excel layout and is highlighted in yellow. The menu ribbon gives you access to a number of menus and submenus. The menus are at the very top of the page and they include file, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review and view. And these menus contain submenus and also action item buttons. We're going to look at renaming and saving the current workbook as Your Name Tutorial. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the Save As action. And basically, for me, that would be renaming this workbook to Brett's Tutorial. For you, it might be Joe's Tutorial. So let's go up, push File, and then we're going to push Save As. And I'm going to save mine in the basics folder on my desktop. You can save it anywhere you'd like. And I'm going to rename it Brett's Tutorial and push Save. So as you'll notice at the very top of the Excel layout screen, the file name has changed to Brett's Tutorial. is we're going to go up to the menu ribbon and push home and now we're going to copy that cell and what you'll see is a dashed line will come up around the cell and that means the cell is copied okay the next example we're going to look at is pasting so we've just copied a cell with the five in it so cell f7 now we want to paste the copied cell into cell F25. So if we go across to cell F25, we can go up to our menu ribbon and push paste. And what you'll see is that a 5 will come up here. So the contents of F7 are copied and pasted down to F25. So let's do some examples. So in example one, it says, what is the sum of the below revenue streams? So let's go here. Let's go to cell C19 and let's go equals. And we're just going to go equals C16 plus C17 and enter. Okay, the next one is using subtraction. So it says, based on the below information, what is the profit? And profit is simply revenue minus expenses. So we're going to put equals, and then we're going to go C23 minus C24. And our profit would be 50. Okay, so now let's put some income items in. So let's put income. And then let's color that because it's a title. So we're going to color that light blue. And we're going to put in wage, dividend, income, and other. And then we're going to put a total line. Okay, so the wage, the weekly wage is going to be equals wage. Now remember we've got to put an absolute cell reference here, so we always reference that cell. Got. So you could do it one of two ways. You could either do it on both the row and the column, or you can simply do it on the column. So if we press F4 three times, we get a column lock, and then we push enter, 
let's see what happens when we copy this one across and you'll see that there's 2000 so it's always reference Excel C9 